Hey friends. Well, today I'm on snowshoes. I'm checking my buddy Grant's trap line for him. Check the first about four, five, six, seven, eight traps already. And I'm heading over to the final one right now. It happens to have a trail cam on this one and it looks like the trap is down. So we're hopeful that there's something in it today. set right there in Washington we have to use live cage type traps oh, the door does appear to be down let's see what's inside it is in fact a successful trap there's a bobcat in there and it is not happy at all I'll spare you the grisly details, but it was dispatched. It's a beautiful cat. Thank you, brother. This is our cat here. Hiking out, you know, trapping is a, uh, it's a, another way to be food sovereign, another way to, um, to passively collect animals for fur and food. Well, just like cougars, bobcats are great eating, and I'm sure this one will be consumed by my buddy. Um, but you've seen us in uh, the survival shows. You know, when I was on Alone, Mud, Sweat, and Beards, Call of the Wild, trapping is the major way to get food. And from a survivalist perspective, it's the most efficient way to get food because you set out the trap and it's working passively for you. Um, in this day and age, it's still one of the tools that Fish and Wildlife Department uses to help control and manage populations. Here in this area there is an abundance of bobcats and um, so we have uh, uh, a good trapping season and uh, and hunting season for them. Well I checked the rest of his traps and uh, that was the only thing in the trap today so done with that but I am heading back up to See if I can't find the um, Curlew Cabin Cougar. And uh, see if I can't harvest that as well. We'll see how the day goes. So far, it's been a good day.